Hey guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I'm trying an experiment. I have the Westman Atelier Vital Stick Foundation in a shade that's too light. And I'm going to see if there's a way that I can deepen it with my Versed Mood Lighting Glow Drops. I really wanna save this product. I was giving it away because of the shade, but it's so expensive. Um, it is a waxier, oil-based product. I don't know how it's gonna do with the water-based glow drops. I tried two different methods of mixing these. One of them does end up working. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed at any point. Of course, I'd love to have you subscribe. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm 48 years old and do pretty much all things clean beauty, makeup, skin care, hair care, even some cleaning products, but mostly makeup and skin care. Those are my loves. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I have the shade Atelier 2, and I actually said I was gonna give this away, find a better home for it, but I'm so mad about it and how expensive it is, and how Westman Atelier, one of their consultants, skin matched me to this shade when I went in person to Cospar and they said I should be Atelier 4, so it's quite off. I can't even use it as concealer under my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you here. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's too warm, it's a little too yellow, and it's too pale. So my idea is to take this, I'm just gonna like put a ton of it in my hand, I guess, or on my hand, and mix in some of the Versed Mood Lighting Glow Drops. I have the shade Bronze, which is the deeper shade. I quite like this product. Apology about the nails. <laughs> I quite like this product. Um, I usually use, or had been using, the Drunk Elephant. Why can't I think of what they're called? I used them for years. They're the, it's an anti-pollution tinted, I think peptide um, drop basically, but it was in a push or squeezy tube, push tube, like regardless, it was tinted and that's what I would use to tint anything that was too light, like my foundations, or I would use it as a bronzer or just an all over glow, but it definitely had tint to it. So does this. I'm not sure if I need to shake this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have used this before, really like it. I found it to be a good inexpensive replacement to the Drunk Elephant. And here's this shade. I think I did a video comparing this, either the Drunk Elephant or to the Pie. So I'll link that video for you. It is a thinner product, but not completely watery, as you can see. And I'm gonna rub it all around. I don't know if I already said there are two shades of this. There is a lighter shade. This is the deeper shade. And there it is rubbed around. It gives a nice reflective, or it has a nice reflective quality and add some tint for sure. I think it's really nice in summer. So what I'm gonna do is just take this foundation stick and try to, you know, I should get a palette knife, hang on. I'm gonna take a palette knife, I use it for painting, it is clean, and I, you know, you could use anything. I'm just scooping a bit off of the foundation. I'm gonna apply this on the back of my hand, try to make it more of a softer cream maybe than, than the stick was. And then I'm gonna put a drop and try to mix it in and see if I can make a better shade for me so that the money I spent on this foundation does not go to waste. So I'm just mixing it like I would a paint. Mmm, these textures are not really mixing very well. Oof, maybe the Versed is too watery for this cream, but I'm not quitting, I'm gonna go for it. Here's what it looks like. Um, you can still see the pigment from the Versed is sort of separate in there. I'm gonna go for it, let's see. I'm just gonna see. Well, this shade is better. It may have worked, actually. There's a few splotches of pigment from the, the Versed Glow Drops that didn't spread out like right here. It's almost like it's solidified or something. And it is still a bit light on me, isn't it? Let's see what it looked like without the glow drops. So we can compare the two sides. Hmm, not sure I can really tell. 
that's not even possible. All right, so here they are in the back of my hand. The one with the glow drops definitely is deeper. Maybe I need more. I'll put another drop. I'm just gonna use my finger this time and try to mix it in. It's not the quickest, easiest process where my liquid foundations are super easy to do this with. It's not like this is the first time I've done this. It's almost like the wax and the watery versed don't wanna mix. I'm just gonna go in now and put this all over because the way I was doing it with the mixing of the two is really not working. I had a little bit of success, but then I think I'm just gonna put the drops on my hand. That's how much I've got here. And I'm just gonna see if that does better. And it's still not mixing. Huh. I'm sure if I continue, you know, just like you can mix oil and water if you really emulsify it. Yeah, it's really separating or making the uh, verse turn into clumps. Boy, I got a lot on now. So now I'm gonna go in and just put more of the verse on top of this side, right? Yeah, I feel like this side looks better. To this side. I feel like this side is feels thicker than the other side and it also to me looks a little ashier. Okay. I think this is okay. What do you guys think? I'll give you one last look at this and the finish and the shade. I've got all my makeup on. Everything else that's on my face will be listed in the description box. So let's talk about the Westman Atelier foundation, Vital Stick foundation, and how I think it worked. I think I got it to work. I think it actually looks pretty good. I think the finish is nice. I did not powder it. I did use powder bronzer and powder blush, but I didn't actually powder anywhere. Um, and I did actually use a powder under eye concealer, come to think of it. I felt like I have a lot on my face. I don't think the watery, the water-based product of Verse mixed very well with the oil-based product of the Westman Atelier, which I could have figured out on my own had I actually thought about it, but this is what I have right now as far as tinting products go. Even so, I do think it worked. I think I can definitely wear this. I. The first way I tried it of using the palette knife did not work at all. I really do think the best way to do it is either to first put on the Westman Atelier, spread it all around, and then mix on the glow drops. It sort of acts as a topper and it tints it, but it does mix in some. Just be careful that it doesn't become solid in some spots like I think you saw happen to me. You can look afterwards and pick those off and re-blend it because it is very creamy or just keep an eye on it. Otherwise, I'm really pleased with how it worked. I'm not gonna go out and buy a different product just to mix in with this, a different oil-based product that might work better. Not gonna do that. I think this worked really well. I like the finish. Like I said, I didn't powder. I think the shade worked fine. Of course, I'll never get the shame, shame shade. <laughs> Same shade twice, but I think that's okay because I'll be looking in the mirror and can adjust it accordingly. And I feel like I have made this product something that I can actually use. Now, how often will I use it? Who knows? Let's see how much is in here. Yikes. Okay, there's a fair amount in there. I don't know that I'll use it up. Although I rarely use up a foundation, especially since I have several different options. This definitely makes it so that I can wear it. I definitely recommend if you have a cream foundation, whether it's the Westman Atelier or some other brand, that you do give this kind of method a try. Try mixing the two on the back of your hand, 
see if that works. That would be the better way because you'd have a uniform shade that you then are applying all of your face as opposed to what ended up working. I'll have to see how little foundation I can put on because this feels, I can feel it on my skin right now. Now I'm sure it'll settle down and dry down and meld with my skin better as time goes on. I'm looking forward to that. I do not like feeling product on my skin. I was also gonna say I have to play around with putting on the glow drops first and then putting on the foundation. But I feel like that's not gonna work as well. I feel like that's very similar to what I already had, which was my skin tone was too deep for the foundation, which was too light. So I can't imagine that would work. Let me know if this was a total waste of your time or if you appreciated seeing my experiment. Let me know what you do with products like this or if you have any suggestions. I'm rolling this around in my hand. I don't need to be playing with that. Drop me a comment if you try this. If you enjoyed this video at any point, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe. And as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.